Today on the Hydraulics Engineering, we will be talking about the slash gate. So, what is a slash gate? In simple words, slash gate is just a gate in a river or stream to control the flow of water. Slash gate are built mainly for irrigation purposes. They are very common structures around the world. It consists of two or three gates depending on the size of the river. But for very large rivers, dams are usually preferred. Slash gates can be also called as mini dams as they serve as the same purpose like storing water. The differences lies in their usage. In slash gate, they are diverted for use in irrigation channels, in dams for the generation of hydroelectricity. This one has two gates and a one spillway in the middle. The gates can be controlled by rotating the handles. Spillway allow the excess water to overflow so that it elevates the pressure or the loads on the two gates. There are two weirs constructed across the channel in the downstream. Weirs helps in gaining some control in the flow of water. Now we will discuss the theory behind the working of the slush gate. For slow tranqu tranquil flow in channels, the flow is called subcritical flow. Channels can be rivers, stream, etc. that is not enclosed. The depth of flow is affected when it encounters an obstruction in the downstream. Here it is the slush gate. In presence of such obstacles, the depth increases. When the gates are opened slightly, the water rushes in with great velocity. This type of flow is called supercritical flow. Now the importance of weirs will come into effect. The weirs helps in transitioning the flow of water from supercritical to subcritical. That is from high velocity to low velocity. This is called the hydraulic jump. All the energy is dissipated in the form of heat energy due to the formation of turbulences and it is. Veers are provided so that flow is slow and tranquil because high velocity flow could be dangerous causing erosions which make the structure unstable. Slush gates are important structure especially in rural areas. The water from irrigation canal can be used for cultivation.